Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader for today is the Reverend Dr. Jaco Bunzayer, who is the Minister at Broxburn Parish Church. Reverend Bunzayer. Presiding Officer and Members of Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to be with you. Today is All Saints Day, also known as All Hallows Day, following on from All Hallows Eve, or as we more commonly know it, Halloween. In several Christian communities today marks the day when we reflect on the lives of the saints, past and present. This time for reflection among Christians dates back to the 4th century AD. In fact, even earlier than the 4th century AD, we find the reference in the New Testament that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses encouraging us, according to Hebrews 12, to lay aside every obstacle to allow us to run the race of life with endurance and purpose. To this end, readers are reminded of the life of the historical Jesus. Through his life, death, and resurrection, he demonstrated unconditional love and unrestricted acceptance of all people. On the 30th of November, we shall celebrate St. Andrew's Day here in Scotland as well as in many other countries worldwide. This will be an opportunity to remember the life of the Apostle Andrew, who is generally accepted to have been the first follower of Jesus. Through his life, Andrew demonstrated humility and service. Andrew is regarded as the first follower of John the Baptist and the first disciple of Jesus. According to scriptures, he witnessed to the brother, his brother Peter and led him to Jesus. Andrew was the person who brought the boy with the fish and bread to Jesus before the feeding of the thousands. After Jesus' ascension, Andrew continued to serve him with humility and dedication, being a missionary to areas in modern-day Turkey, Greece, Hungary, Russia, and as far as Poland. Till the end of his life, Andrew never wavered in his commitment to his master and to serve those where he ministered. Today thus marks an opportunity to reflect on the saints and our calling to be saints in the communities where we live. Whether we identify with a historical root for being saintly or not, we have the opportunity to serve with humility and dedication. We have the opportunity to speak out for the voiceless, to empower the powerless, to provide shelter to the homeless, or simply just donate a food parcel at one of the many food banks nationally. May we, on this 1st November, reflect on the plight of the deprived as we consider our countless opportunities to be saints to those who need our help in our society. I thank you. <clears throat> 